some people say, you know, people are born for, for different reasons. And I, I've, I just, I always loved art, music, poetry, dance. I grew up dancing um, in theater, in ballet, jazz, hip hop. And that evolved into a love of music. I didn't really grow up in a, in a family of artists or musicians or, or dancers, but from a young age, was always really compelled and, and drawn to the arts. My greatest mentor and teacher, uh, Baba Tunde Olatunji, was, took me on at a very young age as a musician and as a painter and artist. I do feel that I'm part of a, of a family, a global family. And also, whenever I travel, I almost always end up forming relationships with people that end up coming to, to Monterey. When artists come to this area, you know, Monterey, Big Sur, I mean, it's just, it's uh, breathtaking, and um, everybody recognizes that. And so, I would say that uh, nature is a is a big part of my of my work. I work with a lot of natural materials. Obviously, I I build nests, and um, you know I'm proud to say I've actually made a living as a, a nest builder. <laughs> For me, the purpose of all of this art is to really awaken the spirit. I don't believe in that art. And Art and culture should be seen in with any form of hierarchy. The more information people get about each other, we can start to recognize our common humanity. And, and I know that the arts is such a beautiful way of doing that. Every day is an opportunity to recognize and witness beauty and, and also to reflect that back to your community. <laughs>